testimony for sufferers and survivors of domestic violence. CEO and founder of the charity Storm, Marie Hansen, who's doing the dive, is a survivor herself and started the charity to help those in need. The charity has been operating for nearly 19 years, offering counselling as well as providing youth work and activities for Tim. Storm is an organisation that I set up 19 years ago, basically because I uh, went through domestic violence and I got all sexually abused by my partner, which used to be seven years in prison. Um, I'm an international makeup artist by trade, I have my own shop, and I decided to set up um, Storm to help other women that are going through um, domestic violence, empowering them. So we do those stuff like counselling women that go through domestic violence. Um, yeah, so it's about empowerment, it's about helping, it's about letting people see their lives in a, a different light, to be quite fair. And we work with children that um, escape from gangs. Um, um, my son was stabbed in, in the back of his spine and, and basically um, he was literally literally stopping someone from hitting a woman because he'd seen that and he went to help the woman and he was stabbed in his back and he's, he's fine now and that's when I decided to do um, a police concert, escaping kids from gangs and helping them and yeah, just working with young people so it's, it's like a whole family kind of organisation. All my friends and all my, my family are speaking, it's, it's amazing. And what I really hope is that other women that have got fears in their lives will be able to overcome them as well. For my mental health, I've gone to the gym, I've not been in the gym for about 30 years. <laughs> so, um, I do my circuit two times a week. Um, I'm on a calorie con control diet, I've lost weight, so I'm feeling like quite true. Um, it's really helped me, really, because I've literally hate any form of exercise so I know I get down to a certain weight because I wouldn't be able to do it and I just literally um I've lost like loads of weight and I feel good about myself and I think to me I'm not gonna not go back to the gym again now so I'm I'm committed to going to the gym so it's really helped me mentally as well. Um it will help with the uh, counselling, it will help with the peace concert like we've got a peace concert coming out um it will help with um storm to be quite fair because we look literally um, with funding now, it's really difficult because of COVID, and I just felt, you know, we can't keep on bidding and doing funding, raising, bidding and bidding, I thought, let me just do something, so it would help us with our organisation to be quite happy with the counselling, because that's, I don't really want that to stop, and then that's going to stop soon, so I don't really want that to stop, because, I mean, this year we've helped about 50 people, over 50 people with counselling, so that's quite a lot of people that have been, for a whole year, that's been counselled for domestic violence and other situations, self-harming children that have gone through um, mental health as well. Um, I can see that um, a lot of the young people have changed their lives as well, which has been amazing. And um, a lot of women that's gone through the counselling, it's really great really, because I see them when they come, they're really so low and on a, like, probably suicidal really. And now I see them and they join the classes, like they, they go counselling, they join the classes and now I see them getting work and they're smiling and laughing and not feeling depressed so it's really um it's really um it's really good just that's just been counseling to be quite fair um i just want to just thank like spina and will pota and shakir would you and all the people that um, supported me because you know without their support you know it's, it would be difficult for me and they, and they, they keep me up with me we are Marie Hansen there, and that skydive is happening on the 14th of August. Best of luck. Right, it's time for a break now, but coming up, funny man Harry Hill turning his hands to the world.